Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is uh, the 4th of July here in the United States and you might expect me to be making a hamburger sandwich out on a grill, but it's hotter than blue blazes. So today I'm going to make a different kind of American sandwich, a fried chicken sandwich from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917. First thing we have to do is make a flavored butter. To uh, soften butter we add curry powder, lemon juice, a bit of cayenne. Doesn't say how much. Get that work together. Now to an egg we add milk, salt, beat that together. Now we drop in cut up cold cooked chicken and then we fry that in butter. While that's frying we butter our bread with the curry butter. Then we put our ahem, fried chicken onto our bread. Oh, what's that? <laughs> this isn't the fried chicken sandwich you thought I was going to be making? Yeah, well, welcome to 1917. Let's give this fried chicken sandwich a go. It was weird that there was no flour called for in this recipe, but flavor-wise this is great. A little bit of egg, of course the cooked chicken thigh, and then that curry butter with the lemon, a little brightness from the lemon, a little heat from the cayenne. This is actually quite tasty. <laughs> I do want to post up with one thing though. I'm going to add some cilantro. And I know some of you out there taste like soap and you hate it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But to me it doesn't taste like soap. It tastes delicious and wonderful. Okay, let's give this fried chicken sandwich plussed up with a little cilantro or coriander as some folks call it. We'll go. The bright citrusy notes of the cilantro are going really well with the chicken and really well with the curry butter. This is, this is tasty. Well, I have to admit the uh, fried chicken sandwich was a delight. It was actually quite tasty. I'm not sure what they were doing with that batter, why it was just egg and milk and salt. <laughs> but it was, and it was good. I mean, everything in there worked. The chicken, the curry powder, the lemon juice, the cayenne pepper, it all came together and it tastes really good uh, in between two pieces of bread. Believe it or not, I want to give that a seven. Uh, plus up with the cilantro, seven and a half. That is delicious. I am definitely going to finish that. Honestly, I don't think I'd go through the trouble of uh, beating an egg with salt and milk and then dipping the chicken in and frying it, I would just use hot chicken and make the curry butter and the cilantro because that is a fantastic combination. But why go through all the rigmarole of the uh, batter when it's not really batter? All right, lunch is served. I'll see you tomorrow.